Selecting the best mice for this year felt like an impossible task. There's just so many amazing gaming mice to choose from, but after reusing over 25 mice that I reviewed this year, I have finally found my top five and the best mouse of 2023, which some people are not going to be happy with. But remember, your favorite brand doesn't care about you, but I do. So don't get angry at me if your favorite mouse didn't win or get to the top five. First, I'll take you through the nominations and explain why they deserve to make the top five list, and maybe why they deserve to be crowned the best mouse of 2023. This first mouse I haven't actually reviewed on this channel. Well, actually I reviewed the wired one about a year ago and I wasn't that impressed by it, which was mainly down to what I called at the time an awful scroll wheel. But the wireless version of the Vaxi XC has an amazing scroll wheel, and after using it again, I've gained a higher level of appreciation for it. Vaxi have released three amazing gaming mice this year, and they were all contenders, but the XC wireless just stood out. I really like the coating and the shape, and even though this is one of the more expensive mice on the list, the quality more than makes up for it as Vaxi make the most polished mice on the market. Where the Vaxi XC wireless finished in the top five, is probably the more surprising part. Well, maybe. Now the next nomination, and this is the more controversial one. When I was building the draft for the top five, I didn't actually consider this mouse at all. But when I started reusing all the mice again, that's when I realized that this is actually a fantastic mouse. The HyperX Pulsefire Haste 2 is an underrated mouse. The quality of it is incredible, and I really enjoyed playing with it again. I think what stands out for me the most is the main switches and scroll wheel feel incredible. And when I've of manufacturers have moved away from great feeling mechanical switches to lower quality opticals, it makes this mouse stand out more. I know that including this mouse might raise a few questions, but honestly, after using it again, I just couldn't leave it out. It is really good. The next one I have recently reviewed, and I mean very recently, and it's from the manufacturer that won best mouse of last year, and that is the Fantech Helios 2. I'd recommend checking out the review for this mouse as there's a lot of cool stuff going on with this, but to summarize, this mouse is one of the cheaper 4000Hz gaming mice available. Despite it being cheap, it's still a very high quality mouse and it's using some of the better optical switches. And I really think this should just be a serious consideration for anyone with small to medium sized hands. The next mouse is one of the highlights of the year and it's probably the mouse that came with the most expectations especially when you take into account how well their previous release did. And when the Lamzu Thorn arrived, it met those expectations. This mouse I felt further raised the standard much like the Lamzu Atlantis did. Ergonomic mice can be a bit hit and miss, but I was really impressed with how comfortable this mouse was. Unlike the Vaxi Outset AX wireless, which I had to make adjustments for it to be comfortable. I can put my hand on the Thorn and it fits perfectly, like a glove. It's also one of the lightest ergonomic mice available at just 52 grams, and that light weight has no impact on build quality with the thorn feeling very polished and well made. This mouse was a definite inclusion into the top five, but this next mouse definitely wasn't. And it's another one that I didn't actually review fully on the channel. I had reviewed the original and I just didn't think the improvements would warrant a new review, but I was very wrong. And it's mainly because this mouse contains new optical switches that other manufacturers aren't using. The Ninjutsu Sora 4K is using Omron Opticals. These are the best optical switches I have used hands down. They feel very crisp and are light enough so they can be spammed easily. The Sora 4K also received a new coating which has grown on me a lot because I didn't like it at first, but again, I was wrong. Not only that, the build quality on this thing has improved massively from the original. This is one of the most polished mice I have used this year. So those are the nominations for the best mouse of the year, and now I'll go through the final positions and the winner. I will also address some notable missing mice as well, as I expect some comments of people seething asking why their favourite mouse isn't in the list. First I want you to leave a comment quickly guessing what my top 5 is, and also let me know what your favourite mouse of the year is. At number 5 we have the HyperX Pulsefire Haste 2 Wireless. This mouse is just incredible, and what's better you can get a wired version for less money as well, but it keeps everything that makes the wireless so good. In 4th place is the Fantech Helios 2. This mouse I really enjoy playing 
playing with as the shape was surprisingly comfortable for me. What really stood out though is that this mouse is great value for money with it being one of the cheapest premium quality and 4000Hz gaming mice available, but the switches did hold it back slightly. The gold coin that it came with wasn't enough of a bribe, so maybe put two in the box next time. Diamond Lobby takes no bribes for review and would never do so as it would put our integrity to provide honest and reliable reviews at risk. This was only added as a joke and should not be taken seriously. The next two mice I have constantly swapped around with each other. It was incredibly close between these two, so this might sting a bit. At number three is... The Lamzu Thorn. I know, despite it being one of the best ergonomic mice of the year and it being incredibly comfortable, the main switches have let it down massively as they just feel significantly worse compared to others. It could have been first with some better switches. In second place is the Vaxi XE Wireless. If I could describe this mouse in one word, it would be cozy. I regularly kept going back to this mouse. Everything on it is just so well made and when you feel that quality it's hard to move away from it. It's going to be a mouse that I'll probably continue going back to using. So the best mouse of 2023 is the Ninjutsu Sora 4K. When this thing was first announced I didn't even think about reaching out to Ninjutsu to get one sent to me. I wasn't impressed by the original and as I said earlier I didn't think it'd be worth doing a full review. And I didn't really give this mouse much thought when I first got it. I made a short, put the mouse back in its box and forgot about it for a couple of weeks. Then I gave this mouse the time that it deserved. And let me say this, this mouse is perfect for me. It's not just the amazing optical switches, but even the side buttons and scroll wheel just feel great to use. I'm not even running this mouse on the 4000Hz polling rate. The baseline improvements to the build quality, coating and switches made it go from a good mouse to the best. And the other reason why I love this mouse so much is because I actually play really well with it. I haven't had a main mouse for a while now, there hasn't been one that I wanted to go back to after reviewing something else. I've used whatever was hanging around my desk. This is the first time since the Superlight where I'm confident to call the Sora 4K as my main. And also, picking this as my number one was never in doubt. The other mice I reviewed this year aren't even close. And I think it just goes to show that it's important to give yourself some time when using a new mouse. But where's the Superlight 2? I hear you ask. After reviewing it, I put it back in its box, and when I tried it again a few weeks ago for this list, I just didn't like it. The switches are just too stiff and annoying. You might say, well, maybe your Superlight 2 has 40 clicks. Well, if that's the case, it's definitely not going to be in a top 5 list if they are. I think other mice have caught up to the point where the Superlight 2 just isn't that great. In fact, the Superlight 2 was kicked out of the top 5 list by the Haste 2. For the Finder Mouse Ultra Light X, it's just still not here yet. If it ever arrives, I'll let you know in the review if it would have made my top 5 or not. So make sure you subscribe and press the bell notification icon so you don't miss the review. And if you want one of the best gaming keyboards, there is a video on screen now that should help you with that.